Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week the superpower I'm trying to get is the power of super sleuthing. What a week it's been so far. My last cookie went missing and I've been using my super sleuthing skills to look for clues to solve this mystery. It's hungry work, I tell you. I wish I had my usual superhero snacks to keep me going. Anyway, I've used my skills to write secret messages with invisible ink and break codes with a cipher wheel. Also gone undercover using my disguise kit and used chromatography skills to figure out that the pen the thief used was from my lab. Weird. It's almost like the thief has been here before. Today's the day I think we will finally crack the case because I have found a fingerprint. That's right, the thief left behind a fingerprint on the cookie jar. I know it's not mine because it's so small. So it must belong to the cookie taker. I will need to compare this fingerprint to everybody else's who could have had access to the lab so I can eliminate all other suspects and finally discover the identity of this beastly baked goods burglar. Everybody's fingerprints are unique and everybody has them. You can take a look at yours if you look closely at the ends of your fingers. Now human fingerprints are unique to every person. Even identical twins don't have identical fingerprints. Also fingerprints don't change over time, meaning that they are one of the best ways we have of identifying somebody. Because we have natural oil on our skin, we can easily leave our fingerprint pattern behind when we touch a hard surface like glass or metal. We can also try to collect these fingerprints using a very fine powder that will reveal their pattern and lift an impression of them which we can take away and compare to the others. That's what we're going to do today, just like a forensic scientist would. For this experiment, you will need fine powder. I've got hot chocolate powder here, but you can use flour or talcum powder too. Tape, thick card, scissors, a marker pen, pencil, wooden skewer, thin card, elastic band, paper clip, blue tack or plasticine, and a kitchen roll tube. To start, we're gonna to need to take some fingerprint samples. So draw around the end of your cardboard tube onto the thin card. Then you're gonna take these circles and you're gonna make a thick ring. So draw an inner circle inside that and then an outer circle. And you're gonna cut out the middle bit and the outside here. Okay, so we've got two rings here that should fit on top of each other. So you're gonna cut some tape now so that it fits over the hole. So I'm gonna need two pieces of tape to do this and then store them sticky side up. Next, you're gonna take your fingerprint. So you need to put your finger into your powder and then tap it off and then push it onto one of your pieces of sticky tape on your ring and then pull it back up and you should find that there's a fingerprint there. Now you want to seal that in by taking your other ring, sticky side down and putting on top of your current one and that will secure your fingerprint. Okay, here we go. I have now kept my fingerprint and you can take a look at it and see whether it swirls or arcs or what shape you have. Next, write the name of the person whose fingerprint this is. This one is mine, so I'm going to write Nano Girl. Therefore, you know whose fingerprint is in here, and you can make a library by taking the fingerprint samples of everybody in your house. So I have a collection that I have made already. Next, we're gonna to need to compare our fingerprints. So we're going to need to make a slide plate and a viewing scope. Take your tube and your long skewer and tape it so that the skewer sticks out about this much. That's probably about five centimeters. And then cut the other end of your skewer off so it doesn't stick out of the top. Now take the skewer and use the end to poke a hole into your thick card. And you're gonna draw a circle around your tube. Now turn your tube around the other side and draw a circle around there too. Now draw a circle that includes those circles in there. So it's gonna be about that big. You're gonna cut that out and you're gonna do that twice. So you're gonna end up with two circles with two holes in them. Okay, now you wanna take those two circles and line them up with each other. And then put some tape on one of the ends. That's gonna create a hinge for you. 
so you can open and close it like this. Next, take a paper clip and bend the end upwards, like so, and then over to make a hook, like this. So it's gonna be this shape, and you're gonna tape it to the opposite end of your hinge. So you can see my hinge is here, and my paper clip is on the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna take this rubber band and fold it in half, and then I'm gonna tape it onto the card opposite where the paper clip is on the other side of the paper clip. Okay, so now we have a rubber band hook that should hook over and keep our little plate closed. Next, you can load a slide over each of the two viewing holes. So you might need a little bit of blue tech to help you with this. So let's take a look. I've got my slide library here and I'm gonna pick one of these. I'm gonna put it in the viewing hole. I'm gonna secure it with a little bit of blue tech so that it doesn't slide around. And I'm also going to put into there the fingerprint that I found on the cookie jar so we can compare it. Okay, now close the cover shut and seal it with your rubber band latch. And you're going to slide this onto your skewer. And you're going to look down the tube and move the wheel so that one slide is in front of the scope. And if you hold it up to the light, you should be able to see the fingerprint in a lot of detail. Now, once you've seen one fingerprint, you can slide it around to look at the other one. And you can compare the shapes and the sizes of the two fingerprints and see if they match. Now for the moment of truth. Will the fingerprint that I found in my cookie jar match any of the fingerprints that are already in my library? Let's take a look. Here's the one from the cookie jar. And here is one from my library. <gasps> they match! They're exactly the same! Whose fingerprint is this? It's Nano Nano Girl's fingerprint! What? She was the cookie consumer all along! Do you know, that does make sense. After all, the pen that the cookie taker used came from this lab. Oh, Nano Nano Girl, it's your fingerprint! You have been crumbled. What do you have to say for yourself? You did eat the last cookie. Ha! Caught red-handed. You ate it because I said you could. Oh yeah, that's right. I did say you could eat the last cookie. I forgot. Why didn't you tell me that it was you so I didn't have to do all of this? Because you enjoyed learning about super detective skills. Huh. And you didn't want it to stop. It was fun, wasn't it? Oh, well, what should we do now? <gasps> You've got a secret stash of tiny cookies. Can we share? She says yes. I like the sound of that, my daring, dynamic, diminutive friend. We are going to go find some tiny cookies. Enjoy your fingerprinting, and I'll see you next week. To the cookies and beyond, even if they're tiny ones. <laughs> <laughs>